Yeah, there are those who died on the day and those uh, who've suffered illnesses and died prematurely since. Well, with me to talk about it is Democratic New York State Senator uh, Andrew Gernardis, who represents uh, the Bay Ridge section of Brooklyn. Thank you for being with us here Thank you for on having this, me. Uh, September 11th, the 20th anniversary. I can't believe we've been 20 years. Uh, thank you so much for having me. And uh, it's not just this area of Lower Manhattan, it's all of the city and beyond. As we saw in that report, it's people from Long Island, the suburbs. Uh, in your neighborhood, uh, you lost a lot of people that day. We lost, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we were the fourth highest casualty rate neighborhood hit uh, you know, across the city. We lost about 25 people, uh, firefighters, police officers. We lost people who worked in the towers. Uh, people from my own church community uh, passed away in, in, on 9-11. So we were hard hit in our neighborhood. And so this, this anniversary really means a lot to us back home. The 20th is a milestone. It is a milestone. It's a milestone for those of us that lived through it, that remember. It's also a milestone for those who, you know, were not around. You know, it's, we were a whole generation past when 9-11 first hit us. And so this really is a, point, a moment for us to reflect on what does it mean to celebrate and commemorate 9-11 for those who weren't here or weren't even born yet. And at your old high school where you were on the day, uh, those who weren't 20 years old yet, what does it mean for them? You know, I, I hope it means something special. I hope they understand the significance of this uh, of this day, the, the sanctity of this day. I know that we always talk about it, we always teach it, uh, but unless you lived it, it's very difficult to understand what it was like to be down here in the days, weeks, and months after, to see the smoke, to see the fire, to know what it was like to have a, someone not come home to you that night. It's a very different feeling. Yeah. I remember uh, being here at uh, the end of October, and you could still smell it downtown. You could, and you know, where I live in Bay Ridge, there's a pier, you know, three or four blocks from the house I grew up in, and there was dust and papers and you know things that had come over in the in the in the wind that landed on the pier that were there for weeks. So we literally saw blocks from my house, six miles away, um, you know, down this way, uh, you know, just the debris that was strewn there, and so that that stayed with us for a very very long time. Um, we saw in that report how uh, there are groups fighting uh, for um, more help for those uh, first responders and all the, all the people mm -hmm. who were affected by it on the day. Two years ago, uh, you wrote a bill that was passed by, uh, uh, that became New York State law. Tell us about that. So uh, a couple, two years ago, we passed actually a series of bills that really helped uh, address uh, the needs of our first responders, our 9-11 first responders, and not just our uniformed first responders. You know, they obviously were very heroic in their sacrifice, but we lost many others, especially those who in the hours, days, and weeks after after 9-11 were sent down to the pile by the city to come do rescue, recovery, and cleanup. So the bills that we passed give, guaranteed them unlimited sick leave. It guaranteed them access to, uh, to benefits. It made it easier to apply for 9-11 disability benefits. And we also said that if you got sick, if you were a firefighter especially, and if you got cancer within five years of your retirement, which is the current class of retiring firefighters, we believe that that's attributed to 9-11 and we will give you automatic, automatic cancer disability uh, pension because of that. Yeah, it's because uh, it, it, we were talking and we'll hear more from them uh, later, uh, the uh, two brothers who filmed that documentary in the towers on the day and they were saying what the shocking thing is that something, what is it, 2,977 die on the day, but the deaths continue. That we at, we are at a point in history where we have lost more people to post 9/11 illnesses than we have on 9/11 itself. By some estimates, there are nearly 100,000 people who are now suffering from a 9/11 related illness or cancer. A responder, a resident of Lower Manhattan, someone who is exposed to the toxins. That is enormous, uh, and so the death toll is still growing from what happened 20 years ago. Death toll is still growing. So you've had the lingering dr trauma of 9-11 uh, of and now here we have this city that's um, starting to come back from uh, another trauma which is COVID and uh, we're seeing that the tourists have not yet returned to lower Manhattan here but there is life that's returning. Is it, on the, is it also on the same plane as what happened with September 11th, uh, the pandemic? I think in some ways it's very different. In some ways, there's a lot of similarities. You know, for those of us who lost loved ones on 9-11, we couldn't bury them. We couldn't mourn them properly. Think about when we were in the depths of the pandemic and we were not able to have wakes 
We were not able to have funerals. We were not able to come together in groups to collectively grieve and mourn. Uh, that, I think, dynamic is still is very, very similar. Uh, and so it's, again, a massive trauma that we are suffering collectively right now. How's Bay Ridge doing? How's Brooklyn doing? Bay Ridge is doing great. Brooklyn is doing great. We're all eager to get back to whatever new normal exists for us after this pandemic. Uh, but certainly on a daily today, we all pause to remember uh, those that we've loved and lost and you know, honor their memory and continue to, to commit ourselves to keeping their memories alive. Senator Grenard, is one final question for you. What's your, the rest of your day looking like? Uh, so the rest of the day, you know, there's another ceremony later on this afternoon with some former workers from Windows on the World. That was the restaurant at the, the restaurant top at the very floor. top of the World Trade Center. I believe they lost like 70 or 75 workers there. And then we host two events in my district, one in Marine Park, which also was hard hit by 9-11 losses uh, at 5 o'clock this evening, and then at 7 o'clock in Bay Ridge at the American Veterans Memorial Pier. Uh, a chance for the whole community to come together, grieve, remember, and just reflect on this day. New York State Senator Andrew Gernardis, many thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.